So I got a ticket on a Greyhound bus and I came to New York. It was bigger than you. There were things being invented while you're just hanging out. It's about being an artist. It's about showing what you can do. All the artists came to Park Place. Just the idea that a group of artists could get together and do this. It was like going to a Fellini film for the first time. You leave and the world is different. That generation in particular just expanded the boundaries in such an amazing way. It was edgy and rough, but for all its roughness, there was a tremendous energy. Artists in the 1960s and 70s in New York needing cheap places to live and work. And that urban renewal was nothing that could have been started from the top up, it started from the bottom up. The great artists of the time showed up there night after night just to, just to be part of the scene and to talk to other artists and have a drink and fall in love. Everyone just dressed to outdo each other. All the boys looked like girls, and all the girls looked like boys. And all the cultural things that we see today evolved right at that time. We were going to flip the Pentagon over on its side. And they started beating everybody. They had no rights, can't call the police. Uh, so they saw us as enemy of the state. Neil just grabbed her and pushed her under the table. The bartender looked at us and then got under the counter and took his gun out. He had never seen guys like us. This is a great time in history and art history. It was way, 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 way beyond its time. But the problem is, in a capitalist society, they want focus. Uh, if they threw him off a cliff, you know, he was going to climb back up the cliff and make artwork. Art isn't really an intellectual pursuit so much as it is hedonistic. And if I'm lucky, the piece gives me something back. <laughs>